In this video, I'm going to show you how you can pull out the email address from any form that gets submitted on your website. Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to talk about how you can pull out an email address from any form field with the help of a Google Tag Manager variable which is the email input variable. But before we get started, as always, these little videos are brought to you by gtmtraining.com. And if you want to follow along with this week's video, then you can download the email input variable that we will be talking about from gtmtraining.com slash email input. And you don't have to type out all the code and the configurations that we'll be talking about in this video. So check that out at gtmtraining.com slash email input. Now it all starts here with this email that I received a few weeks ago from a fellow viewer. And he says, I watched your video about form tracking. And that's where we pull out the different form fields from a submitted form. And I really like how you can pull values from data stored in the data layer by using some simple syntax like GTM element 12 value. I wonder how I can extract the email address, for example, from Mixpanel. I'd like to do something generic. And this really resonated with me. And I got down and looked at his problem in detail. Now the problem that he's referring to is coming from this video, the form field tracking with Google Tag Manager video, where we took a contact form and we derived a variable from that contact form. So for example, if we fill this out right here and send this off and I will click the escape key to stop the browser. I can look into the GTM form submit event and under the variables, you can find here a variable called GTM element nine dot value and it pulled out from the corresponding input field, the email address, which is hugely valuable if you want to parse different form fields over to your codes. But unfortunately, it's also a little bit unflexible because you need to know the number that corresponds to the form field in your contact form that you are submitting. And so thus it's not very flexible. So what about you have other form fields? Like for example, on this landing page, you also have a newsletter sign up box or in this login field, you also have a email address and you always want to send this over, for example, to identify a user in an email marketing automation tool or tools like Kissmetrics or Mixpanel that work heavily with email addresses to identify the user. You would need to recreate all these steps and build different tags for each different contact form, which can be quite exhausting. So isn't there a better and a more flexible method to do all this? Well, I came up with a variable in Google Tag Manager, which you can download under gtmtraining.com slash email input. And this email input variable will simply look through all the different input fields and match it up if there is a value that is filled with an email. So it's always the first email address and then we'll return that email address. So this variable will always be filled with an email address if it's in one of the input fields of the form that is submitted. So you still need to have a trigger installed, the form submit trigger, and you can keep this as generic as you want to, or as specific as you want to. And then in our variable, you need to have the form variables enabled. And then you can look into the email variable. This basically gets filled with the form element, and then it will go through all the input boxes of this form element and see if there's an email in there. So let's try this out. So for example, here on this login box, let's go test at test.com, put on a password and I will press the enter key and then press on escape right afterwards. Here we go. And we can look into the variables, stop the browser at this point. You can see our input variable was filled dynamically with the first email address, which was test at test.com. Whereas our GTM element variable at this point doesn't get filled. Same here on, for example, this landing page in this form field. 
for the newsletter. Let's click this again. All right, so press enter and then I press the escape key to stop the browser. That worked. We can go to the form submit and in the variables we see again the email input variable got filled, but the GTM element variable got filled too, but with another field, probably one of these fields up here that said sign me up. So if you wanna pull out an email address, we don't really have to look into the techniques anymore. We just need to install this little variable in order to pull out the right value. Now, how can this be useful? We can use this email input variable, for example, in tags like the customer IO tag that I also explained in another video. And we have here the identify method for the form submit. And if we want to change the ID, we can simply put that in with our email input variable. Let's copy this. And do the same here for the test. And if you want to pass in any other form fields, then you would need to make this specific. But for now, we would just click here on save tag. Obviously, you would preview and debug the whole thing. See if it all works. Let's try this with the my account page. Click on login and stop the browser with the escape key. And under our fifth event, we had a custom IO tag fire. And this was filled with the email input. Now we can go up here to the values and see that it was correctly filled with our email address. And that gets sent on to a tool like custom IO, Kissmetrics, Mixpanel, or any other tool. So this variable is really flexible when you want to pull out an email address from any form field that has been submitted. That's already it with this week's video of gtmtraining.com. If you want to download the email input variable, then head over to gtmtraining.com slash email input. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel or head over to gtmtraining.com, get on our email list to stay up to date with the newest developments in terms of Google Tag Manager. My name is Julian, till next time.